Ching's progeny. As elder of our coven, I have summoned you here to appoint you with a task of urgent matter. You are the only one I trust who could attempt such a quest. I need you to find out what is going on in Gothos that would cause the other vampire clans to send emissaries to the city. One rumor that has come to my attention is that a powerful artifact has been recently discovered by some mortal. Some of us elders believe it to be the lost Scrolls of the First Blood. If that is so, we cannot allow our rivals to gain possession of them. For in legend, they contain a great power over all of our kind. You must leave for Gothos at once. But before you do, remember, choose your allies carefully, and your enemies more so. For none of our coven will be able to help unless we start a war with Gareth. Gothos is under Gareth's control. And last, beware the deceiver. Of all vampire kind, his heart is the blackest. If these are indeed the scrolls that have surfaced, the deceiver will stop at nothing to have them in his possession. Go now, my child, before the night is up. to Gothos. Are you here to join this evening's hunt? On with the hunt, I say. Where are the horses and those damn beagles? That's a spirit. There's a killy moon in the sky tonight, and the prey is waiting to be slotted like the helpless sheep they are. Wouldn't you agree? I'm licking my chops already. Ruthless. A natural born killer. You may just survive here yet. Tell me, would you like to know what's on this evening's agenda? I hate surprises. The scrolls are said to have the ability to summon forth a great dark power for those that can unlock its secrets. Do you think one being should have all this power? Absolute power corrupts, absolutely. No offense taken. It's much more amusing to have a sense of mystery, rather than read the last page of a book before you finish. But I will leave you with this. Find the scrolls. They are important to our cause. Hey, sugar. You interested in some company? We could, like, exchange some bodily fluids. Okay, honey. Why don't we go over to my private office and...
discuss some business. Screw it. Follow me. It's not very far. Okay, sugar. Before we close this deal, show me some money. You take Visa? You pay in advance before you get down these pants. Don't be so pushy. I'm looking for it. The money? Ten credits for cover tonight. I have something you want. Life. If you want to get in, you gotta cough up the credits, okay? I'm coming in, smooth talker. Don't jerk me around. Are you coming in or not? You take Visa? Hey, Ludo! I've got some trash here for you to take out. Ten credits for cover tonight. Okay, go on in. Pardon me. I was wondering if you could spare a few moments to answer some questions. I've got some time to kill. Why not? Thank you. It's pretty hard to get any cooperation around here. I'm, uh, Detective Thomas Grant, Gothos PD. Homicide. Anything to help our boys in blue? We suspect that we're dealing with a series of copycat murders. Some sort of new fad not quite as wholesome as body piercing. Seems that one kid gets a brilliant idea and everybody and their little sister wants to jump on the bandwagon. You notice anything strange around here? Now that you mention it, there has been some deviations from the norm. 
Yeah. I can see it's all strange around here. Worse than a freaking circus. Oh, at least there's no stinking clowns. Oh, I hate clowns. Almost as much as I hate freaking mimes. Well, even though I've never met anyone who doesn't hate mimes. But don't you? I hate it when they pretend they're trapped in a box. Exactly. But clowns, no matter how irritating they can be, at least have some semblance of a personality. Mimes just grin and stare. Never saying a freaking word or making a sound. Almost like something from the Night of the Living Dead. No. At least a clown gets whacked with a pie or shot from a cannon. So, you can take some solace from their self-abuse. Grant here. Yeah, where? Oh, great. Is the press there yet? Well, keep him back until I get there. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, you know the routine. Just dust for prints and, and make sure that uh, forensics is at the autopsy. Yeah, maybe we can get something tangible in the line of DNA this time. Yeah. See you around. Gareth is waiting for you, over there. <laughs> well, well, well. Another child of the night. I felt your presence as soon as you entered my club. Would you care to sit down and join our little party? I've been. Let me introduce you to my friends. This is Cindy. Say hello, Cindy. Mm. That's Dylan. Please don't ask him to get up. He's found the evening rather a draining experience. Kids these days. Oh, um, this is... Let's just call her dinner. I almost forgot. Who are you? Soon you'll never forget. Well, I'm honored by your presence. Uh, would you mind if I raised a little toast to our future friendship? Mm. Mm. Knock yourself out. You know, I like you. I really, really like you. And not in a funny way. In a kind of a friend who would help someone out with a favor way. Uh, pinch me if I'm dreaming, but doesn't this sound like you? I'm impressed by your flawless judge of character. All right. Let's hear it for our new friend. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. These two are really beginning to annoy me. Well, now that you're on the team, can you keep a secret? Even if they killed me a hundred times over, I would not talk. You see, not all of our kind are as cool as us. Some think we shouldn't be out and about playing around. They think we should be put out of our misery like sick dogs. That's why they've come to town. 
but we can stop them. Interested? Death to the whiners. <laughs> I knew you were into having a good time with your undead ass waltz into the bar. Let me bring you up to speed. Ever since my cohorts and I got news of a find that some old fart archaeologist had unearthed, there's been a lot going down. An unusual number of progeny have assembled in town, and they're not mine. They're here for the scrolls. We might have gotten to them first, but they vanished. So there's to be a war, and I plan to be on the side of victory. You find the scrolls and bring them to me, and I'll grant you sanctuary and full power in my coven. What do you say? Let's get ready to rumble! Great! Well, don't just stand there. Time's a wasting. And by the way, if you have a chance, why don't you stop by a little soiree I'm throwing later. Evening dress mandatory. Now, if you'll excuse me, I really must go and prepare dinner. See you later. Come along, girls. Time to go. <sighs> Look at this place. <laughs> what the hell is going on around here? Strange little people playing their little dress-up games. I come in here for a drink, and instead, get a damn freak show. <laughs> Don't fight it. Join us. Cheers. I'll be out of this rat hole of a city soon enough. Lying on a beach, soaking up rays, and not having another worry in the world. Man, I could use a vacation. This death gig sucks. Have fun. Enjoy yourself. Life is too short not to take risks. I took one, and it paid off big time. Yeah, okay, mm hmm How's everything up front? Yeah, okay, everything's good back here. Okay. This is the back door. If you want to get in, you have to get in through the front like everybody else. I favor coming in from behind. Beat it before you meet Ludo. And believe me, you don't want to meet Ludo. I've been watching you. You're one of them, aren't you? You mistake me for someone else, sir. No way. Don't brush me off. I've been waiting around here too damn long. I know what you've got. I'll do anything to get it. I feel the eagerness flowing through your veins. 
Do you know how long I've been waiting around here for one of your kind? Finally, you're here. I'm here, let the bells ring and the banners fly. I'm not leaving here till I'm initiated. Gareth promised. We're always looking for a few good men. Follow me. We can do it out back. Do it! Shun the light and join us in eternal death. Ha 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 